Welcome back everyone, Broadbent here. Today we are playing Subnautica for the first time on the channel. Now, this isn't my first time playing the game. I think I've had it in my library for over a year and I've got 11 hours in the game. And I still feel like I've no idea what I'm doing. So at some point, this Below Zero DLC or like a standalone game uh, based on Subnautica will be coming out soon and I am definitely going to be playing that on the channel. However, I feel like I don't really know the game that well. Now, I do sort of understand what I'm doing. I'm not a complete new. I do have 11 hours, which is ridiculous. But I've never gotten past the sea glider. So I'm going to do my absolute best in this episode one to get to the sea glider. But without further ado, let's roll the intro. Attention. Oh, damn. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. No. Stop it. No. R2 is the you. Now I remember when this game was in early access and it, it feels like it's come so damn far. This is always like one of the premium early access games, if you get me, like one of the more polished ones, um, which is strange to say. <laughs> okay, that does not sound futuristic. You have suffered minor head trauma. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm good, I'm good, just we'll walk it off, I'll swim it off. So, in case none of you have seen Subnautica before, it is an ocean-based survival game on an alien planet. And that is the ship we just evacuated from. Yeah, this is crazy. So, underneath all this water is a completely new world, which is absolutely beautiful, as you can see. So, I'm going to get started by getting some of the essential things around here. I think I've got some salvage scrap right here. So I'm intending on making this a series, but I want to know what you guys think to that. Uh, so on the top right of the screen now, there's going to be a poll, and basically I'm just asking you if you want me to do um, more videos on Subnautica. If not, then this will just be a standalone video, and that's pretty much where I'll end it there. Okay, not good, not good, not good, not good, not good, not good, not good! Good start. So from what I can tell, surviving in this game, at least in the early stages, isn't that difficult. I've managed to sort of get quite far um, without ever having my, you know, like your thirst and hunger right here go really low down. So I'm not stressing that much about that. I'm going to make an increased oxygen tank or standard O2 tank right here. So now we've got to go quite far out over to get some creepy vine which we can use to make silicone, I believe it is, and lubricants. I really don't know how big this world really is. That was weird. But I know that there's base building and, you know, loads of crazy stuff like that, and I'm looking forward to trying them all out. I don't think we're going to get through with base building in today's video, just because that's quite later on. You've got to find all the blueprints to build structures. Like I said earlier on, the main objective is to get the sea glider. Is it the sea glider or sea glide? I don't remember. And now we should be able to make. Wait, the knife. Where's the knife? There it is. Weapons were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Braxis Prime. The knife remains the only exception. Oh, someone did some bad things. So now we've got some fins. We've got the O2 tank. We've got a knife. We are good for deeper diving. Ah, I think I know this location. Should be, yeah, big tunnel right here. Okay, so I sort of know where I am. Okay, not good. Not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. No! Oh my god, I am just triggering everything today. <gasps> oh, okay. I've got to be careful in here. Now, previously, one of the reasons why I didn't touch Subnautica is because I didn't really like the the UI, which sounds really ignorant to say, but everything's like, I don't know, bubbly and round. I wasn't a fan, 
But that, <laughs> that, wow, that was the reason. Jesus. And I feel really bad for sort of judging it on that factor, so hopefully I can do it some justice now. I can make the repair tool. Nice. So now I need to make the scanner, which is here, and I need one battery. There we go, we've got the scanner. Let's fix this bad boy up, shall we? Rescue operation will be dispatched to your location in nine. Nine. Right, okay. Not happening then. I just noticed my health's super low. Medical kit fabricator. I assume that just generates them. So you know what, let's just use it. Yeah, there we go, cool. <laughs> I was just sort of skeptical if that would just heal wounds or increase my health. Yeah, and that generates more of them. Okay, cool. A grav trap fragment. Grav trap. I don't know what that is. I'm not gonna pretend like I do. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Where's my kniffy? Oh, <gasps> counter, interesting. So these are all the things that I can use to build in my house or like structure once I get that far. I don't think I can build those in a live pod, plus it just wouldn't make any sense. So around here there's loads of wreckage and I'm looking for blueprints in order to make the sea glide. I think it's called the sea glide. I believe I need three blueprints. Yeah, get away, get away. Ooh, ooh. Is this the same area, or am I going crazy? This looks like a different area. Okay, nice. Hopefully we can get a few blueprints here. <gasps> yep, sea glide fragment. One. <gasps> Two! Acquired. Look at where we are. Like, right on the edge of a big drop. This is so cool. I love the feel of this game. The atmosphere is amazing. Oh, a beacon. Oh, damn. Okay. Jesus. It's you. What are you doing? Come on, fight me. Fight me. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I see it. It was here. I'll take the sulfur. Why not? Oh, get me out, get me out, get me out, get me out! Ah! Oh, that was close. I'm trying to extinguish it. Whoa, man. The scenery is amazing. Ooh. Another gap trap. Trash can. <laughs> Gonna need that. Is that another fragment? Wow. Oh my god, that goes so deep! Well, I mean, in comparison to the whole map, probably not that deep. Don't trigger, don't trigger, don't trigger, don't trigger. I see it right there. <laughs> Where were you? So now, I can make the sea glide. Oh god, that's gonna make travel so much easier. Oh, we've got a message. Receiving pre-recorded distress call, laying back. This is Life Pod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Hmm. I wonder if I can make that with the sea glide. Wait, there's another message? This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't want us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. <laughs> that one's even closer. Oh, nice. You know what? That one seems like it's really close, so I'm gonna go there now. Nothing could go wrong. Under attack? Wait, oh god. <laughs> Why am I going here? Whoa! Local scans show a nearby cave entrance. Depth oh, I see it. <laughs> Pod 17, well, 
This guy's dead. <gasps> 30 seconds. Oh, PDA. Do I repair anything? Is that it? I need to get some oxygen. I wonder if there's any blueprints or anything around here. It looks like there's a little bit of wreckage out front. Sea moth fragment. <gasps> Ooh. I just broke the sound. <laughs> nice. Okay. Can I scan anything else in here? Can I check the storage? No. What the hell is that noise? Okay, I think there's going to be quite a few stalkers around here. Just from looking at the creepy vines, so must be careful. Sea glide fragment. Already got that one. Where's the PDA? Yep, I hear it already. Data box. Okay. A compass. Oh! Quick, 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 quick! Oh my god. I don't think there's any other fragments around here. Yeah, no. Alright, let's head back. Okay. Safe and sound. So we just explored two other uh, wreckages. Two other survivors, or at least two. All of which appear to be dead. <laughs> so, so far I'm the sole survivor of this crash out of that gigantic ship. All right, everyone, so I'm gonna round this video up here. I want to hear what you guys think to Subnautica in the comments below. You've probably all heard of this game by now, but I wanna see what you guys think to me having a series on the channel. Like I said, make sure to vote on that poll at the top right of the screen. It's just click the I and it'll all be there. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to press the like button to help support the channel. And if you wanna see more Subnautica, make sure to let me know by voting and letting me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and I'll catch you in the next video.